tonight because I just finished watching Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio give their speeches at the RNC convention and they were they were not speeches in support of Donald Trump uh, not one time did they say that they endorse or they support or they will unite with Donald Trump not one time did they give any kind of inclination that they were for Donald Trump oh my god this was crazy but I want to go back because I, I want to keep my video short from now on I want to go and let you listen to portions or snippets of Marco Rubio's speech. Take a look at this, and then I'll be back. All right. Donald Trump is committed to cut taxes, curb spending, and get our national debt under control. Donald Trump takes seriously the threats from Islamic radicals and is committed to rebuilding our military. Hillary Clinton, he has committed to appointing constitutionalist judges who will respect the proper role of the judiciary. Now, the first diss to Donald Trump was that this man didn't even show up to the convention. That was all on a videotape that was pre-recorded and played at the convention. Now, a lot of Republicans are not showing up. None of the Bushes are there. Uh, the governor of Ohio, where the convention is being held, is not there. And they were beefing with him on Monday. Um, a lot of people are not there. I heard that before he selected Mike Pence as his Republican uh, nom uh, uh, VP nominee, he was calling around up to midnight trying to figure out, hey man, can you be my VP? Hey, can you be my VP? So he had to go back and resettle for Mike Pence. Nobody wants to be around Trump because they know what their, um, their politics future is gonna bring. So Marco Rubio didn't even show up. And then when he, when he talked, he didn't nominate, or not nominate, he didn't uh, endorse Trump. He just said all the positive stuff that Trump would do. Well, let's go back to one of the debates. Here's what you didn't hear in that answer. And this is important, guys. This is an important thing. What is your plan? I understand the lines around the state, whatever that means. This is not a game where you draw maps and you around. you don't know what it What is, is your plan? Now, let's hear Marco Rubio after the Chicago rally that Donald Trump was supposed to have, but riots broke out. Let's hear what Marco Rubio, Rubio had to say about that. This is a man who in rallies has told the supporters to basically beat up the people who are in the crowd and he'll pay their legal fees. A Donald Trump supporter sucker punched a man the other day at an event. Donald Trump has yet to condemn him. After the man was released from jail, he said, next time I'll kill him. He still has not condemned it. Donald Trump is our nominee, is going to shatter and fracture the Republican Party and the conservative movement. Uh, I think it's already having that, 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 uh, that function. And after all of that, Will you still support him if he's the nominee? Um, I, I still, at this moment, continue to intend to support the Republican nominee, but it's getting harder every day. Must not have been too hard. Do you are doing videos at his convention, which, by the way, you did not show up at. But by you doing that video, telling everybody to unite, you're still giving him de facto support. Now, I know this video was entitled uh, Cruz uh, Speech. Uh, well, I'm sorry to inform you guys, but um, I don't have a copy of his speech. And the reason why I don't is because there's nothing to report. His speech did nothing to bring the party together. His speech did nothing to say, hey, I endorse Donald Trump. His speech talked about America and against Hillary Clinton, which they did all the other night. Um, his speech talked about voting your conscience up and down the ticket. That got everybody in a firestorm. Vote your conscience? What do you mean, vote your conscience? Majority of the delegates, not majority, I'm sorry, but most of the delegates there wanted you to be the nominee. And you're telling everybody there and millions of people watching to vote their conscience? They started booing in the crowd. Uh, the New York delegation, he even stopped his speech and said, hey, New York, I hear you. Now, I don't remember, I don't, they, I couldn't hear what they were saying. And the guy reported, uh, MSN, MSNBC News reporter went down there to find out. And the New York delegation was mad because they said, hey, we're supposed to all rally together. We're supposed to all be one party. And he not, he didn't come out to endorse Trump. 
that was crazy. And that shock waves throughout the uh throughout the uh, the media world. I can't wait to finish this video so I can go back downstairs and catch on what I what I missed. But let's go and you know what? I think I know why Ted Cruz did not support Trump or didn't come out to say it. And it, it happened to be because of the the spat between uh, Melania Trump and Ted Cruz's wife. And this is what Ted Cruz had to say about Trump. He screams, he yells, often he curses, and he insults and attacks whoever is standing near him. And you're right, Donald does seem to have an issue with women. Donald doesn't like strong women. Strong women scare Donald. Donald is scared to debate. He I'm going to tell you what I really think of Donald Trump. This man is a pathological liar. He doesn't know the difference between truth and lies. He lies practically every word that comes out of his mouth. Truth, but he combines it with being a narcissist. A narcissist at a level I don't think this country's ever seen. Donald Trump is such a narcissist that Barack Obama looks at him and goes, Dude, what's your problem? But the man is utterly amoral. Well, it, no, let, let me finish this, please. The man is utterly amoral. It, morality does not exist for him. It's why he went after Heidi directly and smeared my wife, attacked her. Okay, and politics aside, any man that attacks anybody's wife, I won't be supporting their ass either. So that's totally understandable for Ted Cruz not to support Donald Trump. But being in the political world and being in the presidential political world, it was expected of him to still support Donald Trump. Uh, what impact that's going to have, we'll see in the future. Um, I'm going to make, I can make my own speculations, but I want you guys to make your own speculations as to what you think that meant and what you think, of, think is going to happen in the fall. This whole video, and I know you can hear my kids screaming in the background, but this whole video is all about the hypocrisy of politics. You just witnessed Ted Cruz and Donald Trump and Marco Rubio going at each other's throats during the primary season. But now for some odd reason, after all that smearing and going at each other's throats and saying you're an idiot and Donald Trump is calling them all kind of names, you still come out to support this man for the betterment of the party? That's my son, I'm sorry. Hey, I gotta go, I gotta go take care of that. Come in. I got a VIPQ. What? Very important question. What? Can you help me click my pinky toe now? But hey, look. It's crazy how politics works. Now, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton did the same thing in 2008, so it's no different. But now we're in 2016, and it's still, and I, I would say it's getting worse. But hey, stick to this channel, subscribe to the channel. Hey, for some reason, it, a lot of news is coming out, so I'm just reporting all of it. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.